you. Hello, everyone. Welcome. So what an amazing day, right? I think, uh, one, it's surreal to actually walk down this long walkway. And actually, it's like a reset button. And I was telling Jackie and others what I, when I was walking down is to leave a hospital and be minutes away from the botanical gardens and actually pause and just realize, one, all that we've been through. But secondly, how we all did it together as a team, but had this venue to actually do it in, I think is is surreal. Uh, today, I think, symbolizes a lot. It symbolizes, one, what we've done together as a team, what we've been through together as a team, what this borough has been through, um, and really kind of being out here represents, I think, a new beginning, a new, a new baseline of where we start off but also appreciating and pausing in a moment like this to realize where, how we got here today. I think the relationship that we have with the Botanical Garden is, is one that's extremely special. Susan and the team uh, have been amazing partners with us and really being a great community uh, partner. And today, to be honest with you, to be in Botanical Garden is special enough, but to actually have Lincoln Center perform for us and pause and actually take this, this time away from the day and really be present and take it all in, I think represents what we are all about. You know, we are a special, unique group of healthcare workers. We're a special, unique borough. And the ability just to sit, enjoy, and realize that we have all this to be thankful for is something that I've become more, much more sensitive to given everything that we've been through appreciating everybody, uh, all the team members here, realizing that we could have never done this without the teamwork that we saw and that we did, uh, is something I still to this day have not gotten over. Um, I'm proud of everybody. I think we're all proud of each other. Um, but today really is enjoy it. I think you take it all in, enjoy what we've been through, but also enjoy the, the venue that we're at. Um, and pause and realize that throughout the craziness of our days and the craziness of our jobs, there is, there is a moment in time where we can be present and we can actually enjoy this and, and appreciate it together as a team uh, like we went through everything that we went through as a team. So without further ado, I know you don't want to hear me. You want to hear what's behind me. Um, enjoy this. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to Lincoln Center. Thank you to the, to the artists, to the musicians. Uh, thank you to Susan for this. Enjoy.
Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Derek Rotzenbeck, and uh, it is an absolute pleasure to be here uh, with my colleagues from the New York City Ballet Orchestra, uh, Lydia Hong, Chihiro Allen, and Peter Sanders. And uh, to say the least, this is a very surreal moment to be performing again after many, many months, and um, humbled to be here performing for you who have gone through so much and led us to this point where we can bring back live music and experience what we've all been missing. And, um, but this, uh, this last piece was Mozart's Divertimento No. 1 in D major, uh, written in 1772. Uh, it's a beautiful piece to be playing in this wonderful surroundings. And thank you to Queens Botanical Garden for hosting this and uh, to Lincoln Center for making this happen. And, um, but uh, our next piece is uh, a little bit heavier. It is uh, Schubert's Death and the Maiden Quartet. And uh, it is apropos because he wrote this after he found out he was terminally ill and was going to soon die. And uh, it's a heavier theme, basically summarizing um, a maiden and her fight uh, against death itself. But I know we've all gone through so much. I know I know people that have lost, and I can only imagine what you've all gone through. So um, uh, thank you again for everything that you've given.
thank you so much. Um, definitely a beautiful piece. That was the second movement from Franz Schubert's Death and the Maiden String Quartet. Our next piece uh, is by Antonin Dvorak, and um, it is subtitled uh, The American Quartet because it is uh, it was written in 1893 when he visited America and it uh, utilizes uh, a lot of folk songs uh, from American culture and um, it is a, a vibrant testament hopefully to uh, the greatness that is America and many things to come as we move forward together. Thank you. 
Thank you all for coming um, and for everyone that might be watching the live stream. Thank you for joining us. Um, this next piece is by George Gershwin, Lullaby. He grew up not too far away from here in Brooklyn. And this piece he wrote um, in 1919 when he was actually still a student and had no intention of actually publishing it, but it was so popular among his string friends and uh, played a lot, and it's actually quite a beautiful uh, piece. And um, we would like to uh, welcome our colleagues from New York City Ballet, dancers of uh, New York City Ballet. Um, Clara Miller choreographed this new piece, and we have uh, Devin Alberta and Emma Von Ank joining us for this. Thank you so much. We are musicians and dancers of New York City Ballet.
Thank you all for joining.